And if we're lucky, since I bolted this thing into the ground, I can reload it very easily. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, we need another wheel set because it got uh, loose. All right. Well, okay. So it didn't it didn't fire itself out immediately. So what we could do is kind of make like a gate here. Noticing the game got a little bit laggier. This is why I didn't want to do this in um, Sky Base World. Because I figured everything would go to go terribly. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, yeah, just firing the cannon. Oh, I wonder if it's because of this. It was. There was a collision issue with that. Interesting. Alright, well, whatever. I'll probably just remake it or something. I think I'll just hop down onto the framework down here. Don't miss. Hey, uh, in retrospect, probably should have. Well, when in doubt, this works. That's my favorite Pokemon. Empoleon, probably. I don't know. Okay, there we go. So you know what, let's continue this track around. I'll have to pull up my glass blocks, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, but we can easily just fill in the missing pe missing wheels, probably from here, if we're lucky. This is actually a really good uh, windmill remix, in my opinion. Was it windmill? Yeah, you learn the song in the windmill, but it's actually like the song of storms or something. Gotta love vol violins. I every single girlfriend I've ever been particularly attached to has been great with violins, and Shell is particularly good at it. But she never plays, which is a shame. Uh, she's got like a 200-year-old violin, and the thing sounds majestic. Uh, but she's busy with her artwork, so I can totally understand why. What was that last track? I have no idea. Um, might have been village, it might have been, uh, village from your past. Honestly, if you just look up the 25-year legend, uh, Legend of Zelda indie game composer tribute on OC Remix, you'll get the whole thing. Never get to game devving and make a roguelite adaption of Zelda 2. Really, Zelda 2? I would love a roguelike adaption of, uh, Link to, Link to the Past. Um... I, I think the top-down Zelda is a completely untapped market as far as roguelikes go. And I'm always a little bit surprised that nobody's done, like, a, a Zelda... Like, an old-school Zelda-style uh, roguelike. Like, all roguelikes seem to be platformers for some stupid reason. When, like, half the time, they can't even make a good one. Looking at you, Cave Blazers. You're a good idea, wrapped in a very, very bad... Um... State. Okay, what's this one called? Thunderstruck. It's based on the windmill theme or whatever. Binding of Isaac is an F tap. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Nah. Uh, Binding of Isaac's more like Smash TV. If you ever played that one, twin stick shooter. Uh. Are they even? They look even. I'll assume they're even, and if they're not even, well, whatever. It's on the other side of this one. Probably could paint them if I really wanted uh, to be totally accurate here. This is okay. I'm I'm getting it down. I wonder if I could get Game Face Max and uh, Born Losers onto this show. That could actually be really fun. Into the past is the inspiration for Binding of Isaac and every other Isaac like the. Really? So I, I seriously got more Smash TV out of Binding of Isaac than I ever got um, Legend of Zelda. Like I, w I want to use a sword and like boomerangs and stuff. 
Like, okay, you know what? You're correct. There, There is a pretty strong uh, influence that is obvious there. But the problem is, like, the gameplay is completely different. Like, I want an infinite Zelda dungeon crawler, and I've never gotten one of those, and it's a bit of a shame, because I would play the shit out of that. Should do a You Only Live Once challenge in Fallout 4. Eh, maybe? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if I ever want to play Fallout 4 normally. You know, running around shooting things and whatnot. Oh, crap, I made this one too high. I... what? Oh, crap. How did I do this? Which one's too low? Are they all too low? How badly did I mess up here? I mismeasured something. Did it? Did what? Wait, they're all off by one. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care that badly. I don't think it's going to change a darn thing. I think some of the other ones here are off-kilter, too. They are. Uh, Alright. Wander Northern Lion, do a co-op play. I don't know if that would ever happen. Northern Lion... It's not like Nor I've ever seen if uh, Northern Lion has any beefs with me, but uh, it's definitely one of those where, like, specifically I tried interacting with him a fair bit uh, when I was, like, a moderator of the uh, Let's Play subreddit, and he more or less ignored my entire existence. So I'm not going to say I have, like, uh, constant resentment of the guy, but it's definitely one of those where it's like, yeah, you know what, I'll give him his space. And then that's never changed. I'm really bad at interacting with larger YouTubers. The only reason why I do anything with Dregas was because uh, I knew him before he got big. So it's just like, alright, Dregas is just an another guy I know. As opposed to, like, um, you know, Northern Lion, who was... I, I mean, honestly, I learned most of what I know about YouTube specifically from Northern Lion. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to be like, yeah, I'll go play with the, effectively my mentor, even if he doesn't quite realize... Honestly, the guy probably knows that he specifically spawned like a shit ton of YouTubers with his knowledge. Because I know Markiplier was taught by Northern Lion. Uh, most people that come out of there, actually, the same one. But no, I, I don't have any major beefs with really any YouTubers because that's stupid. But uh, I get really nervous around people that have been bigger than me uh, since I started that I've never met before. And, like, if I casually meet somebody, like Entak, and we get to talking, then it's not so bad. Um, but it is still one of those where it's just like, you know, that's a very big YouTuber that I have been admiring from afar for years. And suddenly they're, you know, talking to me as though I'm, like, an actual person. And I'm like, I can't quite deal with this. It's like if, uh, if, oh, what's a good... Example, if, like, Mark Hamill specifically came out of nowhere and just started talking to you super chummy chummy, like, oh, fuck. Huh. Alright. Oh. Well, that would explain things. Yeah, Weasel Zone's cool too. I like, I like Weasel Zone. I I wish I had um I interacted. Oh, I think I just crashed the game. I actually wish I could interact with Weasel more often. Uh, but for whatever reason, anytime like Weasel's doing anything, I'm busy. And so the last time we interacted, he lost his dog, like a year and a half ago. <laughs>
I guess my thing needs a roof. I think my ne thing needs more than a roof, but yeah. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I like I like Dragast. It was a shame uh, he and everybody else were super sleepy. Um. Let's see. Yeah, it was a shame everybody was super sleepy yesterday when uh, or I guess a couple hours ago when when playing um. Uh. Overwatch. Cause I really want to play Overwatch with people, but boy, were they not talking. I am. I'm really bad at collabs when people don't say words, because I'm just like, boop -a doop -a -doo. Uh, I, I guess I need to talk more and be, like, boisterous, but nobody else is, and it's like, uh, <laughs> I can't deal with this. Uh, but I've always had that problem with, uh, specifically highlight Let's Players. Uh, and this is part of the reason why I'm a little bit, like, nervous about new collabs and stuff. Uh, people like Dragast, Toxic Doctor, uh, I'm gonna say c Nanners as well. The c Nanners actually isn't so bad. Uh, from what I've seen of the other things. Um, okay. So let's put a roof on this thing and try firing it again. Um, that was a bad noise. Let's not hear that bad noise again. Um, but Highlight Let's Players specifically don't actually talk that much in collabs. They only talk when they need to. And it's hard to work with from my perspective because I don't edit shit. Huh. Probably should have tested this. It's like the saddest shit I've ever seen. Like, that dookie just bounced around for a while. Oh, shit. It's because this is before I hooked up the... What? Oh, I never turned them on. Yeah, the top ones aren't connected, but they don't need to be. They can just roll for all I care. Um, oh. They're down a level. Oops. Missed. Yeah, that's fine. That was a sad poop, though. Probably incredibly painful, but yeah, I totally forgot to power these engines. We'll try this, and if this doesn't work, I'm actually probably gonna have to remake the entire thing. Uh, or at least cut off all the tires and alternate them so there's no, uh... So there's no, like, blank spaces. Ah, well, that also crashes the game, again. Well, let's try that, too. Bring the wheels to the stairs, so they don't wobble. wobble. They're already anchored, actually. Uh, they shouldn't wobble since they're not... Uh, they're not freeform. Apparently, Shell was watching while I was telling the spider story, and she's glad I painted her as a hero. I totally mentioned that she slew the silver fish while I was pantsless. What is this? Alright. Oh, God. What the fuck happened here? What? Oh. Huh. I think I actually bent... What? It, like... What? I've never run into this before. It's... It's bent! How does this happen? And... Oh, right there.
There's like a random hole. Or what? It's... Is it still bend again? I think it stopped... It's stopped bend again now. Yeah, the anchor broke. I've never seen that before. That's really strange. Oh no, it's still broken. That's... Oh. All right. Um. Look, Ma. No hands. I think I found the problem. No idea what happened. Alright. Well, honestly, this is recoverable. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Whoa, oh. What the f... <laughs> I don't understand. What is going on here? What is this thing and why does it do this? Alright, whatever, it's magic. We're just going to ignore it. Anyway, let's uh, let's remake that segment. I really want this to work. But apparently it decided that physics was not worth worth its time today. And did this instead. So we're going to double anchor this thing. Or something, because... Like, seriously, what do you do in that situation? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have it go all the way into the staircase. There we go. Add some more. Whoops, what? Oh. How do you even do that? Oh, I put it through this singular crack in the stairs. There's just a little... There's like a hairline crack in there. That's interesting. Alright. Anyway, uh, let's finish this off. Because I, I do want this to fire at least once today. I'm going to be kind of sad if it doesn't. Okay. A welder tool would be useful right now. Man, I don't think a welder tool would have fixed any of that. That is that is some freaky bullshit. That I don't think anybody wants to deal with. I think it's there. So it's every four. Let's let's put two, three, four. Oh, but it's four off the top of the tire. Never mind. I'm miscounting. Clearly, I shouldn't miscount here. Because it's super easy to do so. Okay. But yeah, I really want this thing to fire at least once before I'm done. I don't know. I went through all this work. Giving up now would be... Well, sad? Okay, let's go a little bit further. Luckily, I've got this oh, sweet scaffolding. Having that has made this entire build much easier. Okay, but yes, I, I think it has something to do with save files being hella corrupted. Alright, so let's see, how many between? Five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we already know. We already know every single time. Because it's marked off for me. I love the wooden blocks and the, the little uh, horizontal hatching. Makes life much easier on me. And this way I shouldn't mismeasure anything. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, that's so much faster. 
Uh, let's get the top... Mm, can't get the top tire on. Well, let's get these two on at the very least. We'll get the last one on in a second. Oh, let's hook them up while we're here. Yeah, seriously, that glitch did a lot of damage. Not un unrecoverable. If all of it had starting to started to tip like it did, we would have been in trouble. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Thought I made a mistake there. I did not. Yeah, not unrecoverable. Just pain in butt. Just sizable pain in butt. Mostly keister. Okay, we can finish hooking this up upstairs. Uh, all the engines are already maxed out, right? Yes. Good. That makes my life easier. And then we don't put any on the last one. We probably should, though. Yeah, we'll power, we'll power the last set. I don't really know if it makes much of a difference to have it powered, but, I mean, it's better than having a lackluster finish. That's just sad business. Can I hook it up to that down there? Nope, too far. I guess I'll have to jump it or something. Anyway, let's make sure they're all rotating the right way. Nope. Just make, double check that they're ro rotating the right way, because I was not fully paying attention here. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, they're all they're all pointing up. I guess there's one way to hook it up. I guess I'll walk around the last one. Luckily, we're not running into lag issues here, so it's not so bad. I think I also have to power the engines to max. I don't think I did. If I were to make any game I wanted, what would it be about? Um... I don't know. My fantasy idea of how ne Necropolis is going to play is actually pretty damn close. Let's make sure. It's all rotating. Nothing is shuddering violently or making scary noises. Alright, so far so good. Let's, um... Let's see if I can bolt a little bit more down just because I want to go to bed, but see this thing in action before you do. Don't worry. We're almost done. Or at least, supposedly we're almost done. It has this bad habit of screwing with my... my capacity to do anything here. Oh, one too short. Just right. I want to bolt it down just so we don't run into uh, issues again. No, it's easiest, I guess, if I, I do it this way. There we go. Eh, close enough. Alright! This time around, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna- we're gonna make, um... We're gonna make a custom bullet. Hey, what would I make if I had an ideal game? I don't know! It's a hard question, because, like, I love sandbox games like this. Um... Oof, that makes the game lag real hard. Tally-ho! You know, honestly, it's not that much better than, um, the original Dwarf Cannon. It looks like it would be hilarious to fire myself out of, but it's not worth the extra work to make something so tall and so ridiculous. It looks like there's a, um... It looks like there's an absolute maximum speed that you can send, send something out of one of these. Which I guess should make total, total sense. I kind of wish... Well... I, I guess... I guess you could actually make it, uh, accelerate faster using... Oh... Okay. I guess that's going to be our next project. Because I know I actually... I actually know how to make something accelerate even faster than a standard engine and stuff. Walk in while it's running. Uh, I don't think it's going to work the way you think it's going to, but all right. Yeah, it's not too fun. All right, here, 
We're gonna make one more custom thing. Uh, we're gonna make it out of glass. Actually, we need to do something first. Okay, oh, this should work perfectly. If I'm right about the remote control glitch, this should work. Alright, let's hook this sucker up. It's still connected. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make one more thing. Oh, this is laggies I'll get out. Surprising nobody. Two seconds and then we're good. I'm gonna cover it as much as possible. Okay, there we go. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Really? It's supposed to work. Why didn't the remote control... Yeah, it, it failed somehow. Alright, we gotta try again. I gotta get the remote control glitch working here. And I honestly don't remember exactly how it's done. So bear with me a second. Okay, so we've got that there, we put that there. We put this here. Oh, maybe it maybe it has to Alright. Here's the easiest way to do it. We'll just delete the one in the middle. It should balance on one. Okay, let's try again. And we'll build it first. Make sure it's all hooked up, then delete. As needed. See, I haven't really messed with the re remote control glitch enough to have a good idea on how it's gonna work. But yeah, the remote control glitch is super finicky. And I actually have never seen if anybody else has done it before. I should probably put a post on, like, a uh, subreddit or something talking about it. Uh, but I kind of like it just being my thing for the time being, even though it's super obvious how I do it, if you can see the video. Alright, that should... Yeah, let's lower it. One. That'll make it easier. Okay, let's hook him up. Okay, now it should work. Damn it. Didn't work again. Why? Part of the problem is I don't remember how to how the uh, remote control glitch works. Because I've only done it a couple of times. And it's not uh it's not easy to get working. Um Let's see, it still needs the bearing at the bottom. Maybe it only needs one bearing. Okay, it's already been on Reddit a uh, bunch of times. Okay. So I, gu I guess people have posted about it. Um, here. Let's just do a, a quick test. Instead of making the, uh, the platform repeatedly. Let's, let's see if this works. Yeah, it, so it still works there. Weird. Alright. We'll try again. I'll just build the platform, the just basic square, and then we'll build around it. wonder if it's an issue with the glass blocks. It shouldn't be. But yeah, if we just put this chair down first. There we go. Yeah. Alright, that should work. Don't know why it failed. Every time I do this, it gets laggier. So I'm not even gonna put, like, straight up walls in here make a ceiling because it's easy but yeah every time we do this boy is it not happy anymore oh, come on oh I know why it's failing 
apparently you can't add to the vehicle after uh, after it's been um, remote control glitched. That's how it works. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so when I build, it breaks the connection. Well, I guess we just... We just build the, uh, the thing straight up first. It's easy enough. Probably makes my life easier. In the long run. Yeah, can you see... I haven't exactly used this that often. Alright, so let's build the roof on again. Now that we know why it wasn't working, we can easily just ignore... Well, not ignore, but bypass the issue. Alright, there we go. Don't forget to hook it up. Hooked up. Okay. Hop in, and... Vamoose! Huh. Well, this sucks. Fun fact, glass is too heavy. I wanted to do glass so I could see out of it, but I guess we don't need glass. That sucks. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna exile this one. We'll just build it again. I don't have time to be sitting here just... Cleaning up after myself now, even if it makes the world slightly less laggy. Turns out medium weight is hard to work with. Well, I'm not going to question glitches. They're glitches for a reason. Not features. Okay. Should be good. Tally ho! Okay. Tally no. Right, this thing got fired, right? Well, it fires the game. That also works. Yeah, get rid of the walls. Well, we fired one with walls, though. That's the weird part. Um... Unless it's the... Unless it's the bearing. Could it be... Could it be the fact that it's landing on the bearing that it's, like, catching or something? Uh, oh god. Hi. Um. Well, I remember the placement, but why am I here? Alright, whatever. Yeah, let's try... Try one more time. I really want to be able to self launch here. So we're we're just gonna try no walls, barely any ceiling, minimal minimal everything. Cause I really want to see myself fly today. This is so much easier with a second person, obviously. I guess I could always just summon an Igor. That would take, like, zero effort. It might be faster than this. At the same time. I don't like summoning Igors. They're gnarly. Yeah, it's that bearing.
Yeah, so what, it, what it's doing is it's catching the bearing that it's currently sitting on. And that's not working. Weird. Well, that's frustrating. Well, Bird's here, but unfortunately Bird can't, um... Bird's useless today. Uh, do I know anybody specifically on hand that could hop on? Here. Oh yeah, that would do it. That would actually do it. Alright. Here we go. So we're, we're gonna put the, um... We're gonna put the connector bearing over here. That is a good point. Thank you, Ninja Chris. Alright, so we're gonna put that there. Put a block there. Put a block there. This is weird. Ah, that's a problem. Guess we might as well hang it first. Bird had functional internet, I'd be calling his ass in here right now. Turns out the dude, uh... The dude is... Oh, God. The dude is on... Shmurglenet. And it is not good for him. We tried doing Factorio last night. It was like the saddest, saddest thing. I'd love to get it working. I'd love to have my bird buddy on this. Okay, let's see. If I put it back like this. Problem is, I think it's rotated out a little bit. Uh, we'll hit it with a hammer once. Should solve the problem. Alright, that's probably good enough. This is a bad remix. This is a really bad remix. Alright, science! Oh god. Huh. Alright. I think whatever screwed it up earlier screwed up everything, because it ain't firing shit anymore. Like, I honestly think it actually unseated the, um, the wheels more than I thought. Here. No shenaniganry. Let's just fire, let's just fire a thing. Because I think it totally broke. And if it does fire this thing, then clearly it, it works, and we just need to get an Igor in here. Why won't it move over one? Oh, God. Every time we do this, it gets laggier and laggier. It really doesn't want to do this anymore. All right. You know, I'm just going to call that good enough. This ain't going to work, and honestly, it just... It just kind of su- uh... Are all the wheels spinning the same way? Well, apparently except for that one. And that one, and- Oh, no. Well, this would explain some problems. I mean, the wheels on the bus on the lower level are going round and round. It's just... Some of them decided to undo themselves probably when the game crashed. Wait, that's right. This ain't. Oh, right, because it was all set up correctly and then it stopped, and even then. This is, uh. a pain in the ass. Alright. Let's get the graveyard out of here a little bit. It's kind of a pain to just have them sitting around.
so close. Okay, that's a bit better. We got some room to maneuver. Um. Okay, so that. That's a problem. Okay, so here's here's how we're gonna do. Oh, I don't want to do this. Wait, question. Oh, all right. There's the other option. The press the button and run like hell method. Let's try that one. Because clearly all of my other options are kind of bunk. Alright. So let's hook... Wait, no. We, we're not hooking it up at all. All right, come on, science me. Science me so hard. Why why won't it work? They're all spinning the right direction. It Am I really just this fat? Really? Oh. Well, I just realized another problem. Turns out the last set of uh wheels uh is one too far away. Son of a bitch! Alright, you know what? I'm putting this on hold. We'll come back when the welding tool's there. Because this shit needs fixing. And probably a redo or something. I give up. Anyway, bird. Seeing as you're watching, I made a house for us. It's up there. It's a nice house, I think. I appreciate it. Uh, there's a bed. There's a red one and a blue one. Um... Let's see, I made a bar. The bar's nice. It lights up. Uh... <laughs> uh, this has been a cascade of failures tonight. Which sucks, because I really wanted, um... The Dwarf Cannon X to work, but clearly... Clearly, I'm going to have to redo bits of this, and hopefully we get the welding tool this week. Uh, so we'll see. So, I guess I'll be coming back to this one whenever they add that. Oh, well. <laughs>